Welcome to the Sky Podcast. First baby down, one baby to go. Ooh. Wow, congratulations to us. Congratulations. Kanina was out like doing a photo shoot and everybody was like, congrats, congrats, congrats. Do you want a girl? Do you want a boy? Um... I know we both want a girl because we already have a boy. <laughs> uh, we actually already have the gender. We don't know it yet. My sister knows it. Yes, hindi pa tayo nakapag gender reveal. Yeah. We Slater and I want a girl, but honestly, I wouldn't also mind having another boy because I've always wanted to be a boy mom. Mm. And I think it'll be nice to have brothers, like siblings and brothers. Feeling ko iba yung bond pag lalaki, lalaki, or babae, babae. Yung ma- pareho sila mga nagsiskeme. Like, yeah, takas tayo, takas. Yeah, like, you know, all for one, <laughs> one for all. Sometimes kasi kung boy and girl, and correct me if I'm wrong, parang there's always a barrier, right? Like, you have a different set of friends, iba yung hilig. Pero kung boy, yes. boy, girl, girl, di ba? I think so. I think so. Kasi parang you get, like, ganito kami when we were growing up. Um, close kayo when you were kids. You play together. But as you grow older, you grow apart. Like, iba na yung hilig ng girls, yung lalaki, iba na rin. So, mm. parang naging awkward na to play with the girls. Once you hit, once you hit. <laughs> once you hit puberty, no? Oh. Pag may, ano na, may malice na. Not really malice, but Pag nana kay buot ba? Yeah. Yeah. So how does it feel to be like pregnant again? Oh, well, you know, love, I'm complaining every day. It's been a very difficult first trimester, but <laughs> I'm still lucky to be in the position where I am now because I know a lot of other mothers mm-hmm. have it way harder than I do. Yes, of course. Yeah, uh-huh. so I'm super lucky na sa lagay na to. Pero mahirap pa rin. It doesn't take away from the fact that the first 13 weeks until now, actually, there's morning sickness that's like every, whole day sickness, mm. super migraines, pagod, like all of that. But buto na lang, it's not anything super bad. I think it's just normal pregnancy pains for you. Like, we didn't have, at, at least we didn't have trouble like conceiving. Yeah, or, well, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> at least, ano, sniper ako. At least, alam natin, fertile na fertile tayong dalawa lang. <laughs> um, what, has changed in your perception ngayon? Like, is there anything that's like, okay, I'll do things differently or what? Um, Actually, not yet. I'm pretty happy with how we raised Scotty. Mm. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot more chill now because we kind of know what to expect already. Plus, we have help this time around. Like, when we got Scotty, it was... Oh, oh tayo pa lang, it was us. Tayong dalawa yeah. lang. We didn't yeah. have uh, Yaya... Yeah, so it was really, really tough. Now, at least my help na tayo. Alam na natin what to expect. You know, uh, before, I did so much research, research, but the research was always contradictory, you know? Like, yeah. people would tell me A, and then when I read online, iba. Mm. And so I'd always question, like, ano ba talaga yung tama? Pero ngayon, na nakita na natin si Scotty, I'm happy with what we chose, how we chose to raise him. Like, it's less stressful, I think, now. But I think what comes with the territory of being a mom, and I don't know if it's the same with you, is... Yeah. I think we mentioned this in a previous podcast. Like, you, it's like a rite of passage becoming a mom. Like, you just suddenly learn to value certain things more than others. Like, all of the things that I used to care about before, ninety mm. percent of that I don't care about now. Like, mm. degaff, mm. and that comes with the territory of being a new parent. I think. Yeah. No, like your priorities yeah. are just different. Oh, oh pero um, I feel like ano kasi yung yung perspective mo, paminsan nakakalimutan mo. Like, it, people would think like, everything is fresh pa from from your mind. Like, it's easier to raise a second kid kasi bago pa lang si Scotty. You know all of these things. But, just talking about the pregnancy, you were like, ah, I didn't know it was this hard. I forgot. Yeah, definitely. Like, I remember you kept asking me, are you ready na ba? Are you ready na ba? And in my head, I'm like, yeah, I was born ready. Like, oh, kaya ko diba? to, kaya ko to. Like, like even sa vlog, diba? Like, timing yeah. na. I was asking you, are you ready? And you were like, huh? Why are you asking me no, that? No, I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I've been here before. I better better to do it now nga, that it's fresh pa. Oh. Yeah, so like, five years down the road na parang, ano ulit yun, diba? But the thing is, there is such a thing as momnesia. Like, you suffer so much during pregnancy. You suffer so much when you give birth. And then, like, the fourth trimester when you're breastfeeding, it's also difficult. Wala kayong tulog, lahat-lahat. Yeah. 
But it's really true. Mom Nisha exists. Like <laughs> once you spend so much time with your kid, you fall in love with your kid. Nakalimutan mo yan lahat. Like all the mahira parts. The yes, sleepless you were nights. telling me like, ang saya kaya ng kid. Eh, ang saya ng may baby ulit. Like, like sa isip ko. Hindi kaya. Um, Don't you remember you were a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super true. It's mom Nisha, but now that I went through the first trimester already, mm. I told you right. Like, so you're feeling better now. I'm like, oh my god, nakalimutan ko mahirap pala talaga to have a kid, mm. to get pregnant. Like it's I remember nga, I think the first time we got pregnant with Scotty, yeah. I had to cancel events. Yes. And daming, diba? Like, oh, may nagagalit sa'yo kasi hindi ka nag-ahatin ng event yeah, right how online. Will I, how will I attend the event when I'm puking, right? Uh, uh, yeah. So, then I'm like, oh yeah. I, and then, I remember, after we, I gave birth to Scotty, I was telling you, baka it was all in the mind, no? My morning sickness. You think mm. it was all in the mind? And then now, the second time around, I'm like, please remind me that it wasn't all in my mind. This exists. <laughs> I can feel it. Physical pain. Like, I'm gonna take a video of myself saying, ayoko na, last na to. Remember? No, but you said that with Scotty also. You said, uh, maybe yung next kid natin five years na from now. Sabi mo yun. Uh-oh. And then, so, that's why when we were planning to have a kid again, you said, I said, Na, sure ka ba? Sure ka ba? Are you sure? Are you sure you can handle everything? Because ako yung nagmamasage sa'yo. Ako yung nag... nag uh, like, take care of you somehow when you're... Like, ngayon, like, I buy buy food for you. <laughs> yeah. Or like, yung nausea mo, nakikita ko, hindi ka natutulog. Yeah. And everything. Like, parang nakikita ko yun and naalala ko yun. That's why mm-hmm. I, I asked you. But sabi mo, eh, okay naman yun. Like, sa- and I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Mom, sure? Nisha nga, it's really true. And do you remember that when we were in the birthing room and I was about to give birth to Scotty and I was shaking uncontrollably, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I told you, this is our last kid. Yeah. Remember? I'm yes. like, ayoko na, last na to. This is the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. Remember? Yeah, but... And then when you hold the baby, you're like, give me 10 more. <laughs> oh, ang saya kasi. I want a lot. Like, yeah. There was a time after Scotty, maybe three, four months ago actually, uh-huh. sinabi mo sa akin, I want a lot. I yeah. want like maingay yung bahay natin yeah. palagi. Because, okay, when you give birth and you have a newborn, it's kind of like you don't know what's happening because you wala kang tulog, pagod na pagod ka. Mm. And you just it's like survival mode mm-hmm. but once we sleep train Scotty that was 4 months 5 months 6 months we kind of got our groove na lang. and then he started interacting with us and I'm like hey this is pretty cool <laughs> like I got this we got this uh, I'm like give me more I can do it yeah <laughs> pero nakalimutan mo yung lahat na napagdaanan mo so ngayon sinabi mo na sa akin last na to last na to <laughs> I'm willing to bet that especially if this new kid is not yet a girl I'm willing to bet na baka may number three pa ulit. Ah, sa ngayon, wala pa yan sa isip ko. Like, yeah, but malayo that, pa. that's always what you say. I know, and all of my mommy friends keep telling me like, mm. oh, that's what I thought, but boom, I have so many kids. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. It's free, guys. It's free. See you there. Skype podcast. Skype podcast. <laughs>